Holy sh Oh my god. Oh. It's looking right at me. That's terrifying. <laughs> I've reviewed many laptops on this channel, but none have been as difficult to describe in video as the one I'm about to show you. I mean, sure, on the outside, it might look like your typical laptop, but all that changes when you open it up. I have only one word to describe it, magical. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. And most importantly, I help you find the right gadget to match your needs. And in this video, we've partnered with ASUS to take a look at the new ProArt StudioBook 16 3D OLED. Of all the laptops that I've seen and heard of recently, nothing has excited me more than the new ASUS ProArt StudioBook 16 3D OLED. But for you to really appreciate why, you'd have to experience it in person. But I'm up for the challenge. So since you can't be here today, I've invited some of my friends. What is happening? Oh, that is crazy. It's pretty cool. <laughs> this is wild. How do they do that? Even like when you look on the side, it like pops out. Let me fill you in. What they're seeing is a 3D model of a T-Rex. It's impossible to capture on video, but basically the T-Rex is jumping out of the screen, similar to the thumbnail of this video. His head is right here. His claws are right here. His foot is right here. And it's scary. Of course, getting up close and personal with a T-Rex is not the only thing you can do. You can view any kind of 3D content on this display, not just 3D models, but movies too, including this trailer for Avatar 2 on YouTube. There are many things that impresses me about the new ASUS ProArt StudioBook 3D. First is that you don't need 3D glasses. ASUS calls the technology spatial vision. Using these two cameras, spatial vision tracks your eyes and then sends two different images to each eye. Your brain then magically recognizes these two images as one single 3D image. Right now, eye tracking works with only one person, but ASUS says this is just the beginning and they're working on making it available to multiple people at the same time. Also impressive is how intuitive everything is. Everyone on their first try instinctively used their hands to interact with whatever it was they were seeing. Currently though, that's not possible, but it was definitely the number one wish list item. We have like this 3D fully modeled image and stuff. If you can reach out and like manipulate things, also with the hand tracking, you don't even need VR at all. A few months later at CES 2023, ASUS already had an answer to this tech problem. Working together with a company called ZSpace, they were able to come up with a system that lets you do with a pen what you'd impulsively want to do with your hands. The experience was so cool. I felt like I was picking up objects from inside the screen and pulling them out of the display for me to inspect closer. Obviously, the best is yet to come, but if I were to imagine things from the top of my head, I can see many different practical use cases for a laptop like this. 3D artists, for example, will be able to preview their work in 3D from their own machines. Students can study the human body like never before, or maybe doctors can get a closer look at patient scans. 3D gaming might become a thing, and maybe eventually, 3D movies might become more mainstream. I think the possibilities are endless, but I'm grateful that this technology is available today so that you can put it in the hands of great minds, and I can't wait to see what they do with it. Yep, you heard me. The ProArt StudioBook 16 3D OLED is not a concept device. ASUS announced it at CES 2023 this January, and it will be available later this year. It's part of their StudioBook line, which is designed with creatives in mind. It's got the best hardware, next-gen Intel Core HX series CPUs, next-gen NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics cards, support for up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and eight terabytes of storage, and a full complement of ports, USB-A, headphone, full-size SD card, Ethernet, power, full-sized HDMI, and two USB Thunderbolt 4. 
another USB-A, and a Kensington lock. It's also got tools like the ASUS style, which you can customize to easily access frequently used tools and apps like Adobe Creative Suite. The built-in trackpad doubles as a drawing tablet, something like a Wacom tablet. And it's actually the world's first trackpad with Microsoft Pen protocol support. Even the finish on this laptop has something called Antimicrobial Guard Plus, which inhibits 99% of bacteria and virus from living on it. How 2023. And last but not least, it's got the best display on a laptop today. 16 inches, 16 by 10, 3.2K resolution, 120 hertz, and an OLED panel. Asus also sells a version of this laptop without a 3D display. Asus announced many other laptops at CES 2023, and here are some of our favorites. Let's start with the ZenBook 14X. You know what about this laptop I'm most excited about? It's actually the redesign. Previous Asus laptops had something called the Concentric Circle. This new design is called Modern Zen. It has a smooth granite-like finish that is very resistant to fingerprints, achieved via a process called plasma ceramization. The ceramic coating gives the ZenBook 14X a fresh new look. It's elegant yet understated, and it's eco-friendly and non-toxic. Currently, this new finish is only available in one color, this one right here, but ASUS says they're working on many other different colors and hope to bring it not only to this laptop, but to the entire ZenBook line in 2023. Inside, the laptop has a champagne-like metallic finish and a beige keyboard. I really love this color and the keyboard, it's really comfortable. The trackpad doubles as a numpad for crunching those Excel spreadsheets. Just long press on this icon to activate. The ZenBook 14X is the laptop that I recommend to most users. It's thin and light, yet powerful. It's only 16.9 millimeters thin and 1.5 kilos. I got the souped up model with a top of the line next gen Intel CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and one terabytes of storage. But just remember, Asus offers many different configurations at different price points, so you will have to check what's available in your region. The display on this machine is gorgeous. 14.5 inches, 2.8K resolution, 120 hertz refresh rate, and an OLED panel. Bezels are super thin, and look at this, the hinge allows the display to go all the way here, 180 degrees. On top of the display, you'll find a full HD webcam and IR module for unlocking the device with Windows Hello. This is what video calls using the built-in web camera and the AI noise-canceling microphones look and sound like. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Despite its thin frame, the ZenBook 14X has a decent amount of ports. Two USB-C Thunderbolt 4, a headphone mic combo jack, and a full-sized HDMI on its right side, plus one USB-A on its left. Last but not least, the machine has Harman Kardon speakers with support for Dolby Atmos and Asus Smart Amplifier for 3.5x louder sound. Here's what that sounds like. Now, if you like the form factor of the ZenBook 14X OLED but want even more power, Asus is debuting a new laptop in 2023. Previously, if you wanted a 14-inch Pro, you'd have to get the ZenBook Pro 14 Duo. But what if you didn't need this super cool extra screen? Now you can pick up the new ZenBook 14 Pro OLED. It's got everything I love about the ZenBook 14X, it's still relatively thin and light with the same next-gen Intel CPU, but with more power and more features. 
most important of which is the ability to have a dedicated next-gen NVIDIA GPU and support for up to two terabytes of storage. To back up all that power, it's got four vents and Asus IceCool Pro for better cooling and sustained performance. Creators like me will love that there's a dedicated standard size SD card slot over here on the right side. And because there's a dedicated power port, your second Thunderbolt 4 USB-C port is freed up for even more accessories. There are other things like a three mic array instead of two. And if you're wondering what that looks and sounds like, here is a sample recording. Now we're on the ZenBook 14 Pro OLED using the built-in camera and the three mic array. But my favorite pro feature is built into the trackpad. Remember the physical dial built into the StudioBook Pro Art? The ZenBook 14 Pro has one too. Well, sort of. To activate, just swipe out from this icon and the dial pad will light up. The outline of the dial pad is actually etched into the trackpad and you can slide your fingers around it for things like volume controls, or tools like in Adobe Photoshop. For all three laptops featured in this video, Asus is promising military grade durability. By the way, samples I have in this video use a special customized 30 series GPU, which is hardware disabled for preview purposes. Devices that users can purchase will have next gen GPUs in 2023. It's just the beginning of 2023 and things are already heating up. Which of these laptops did you enjoy the most? Which would you like to take home? Let me know in the comments section below. And do you have a wish list, a dream feature that you'd like to see on an upcoming laptop? Let me know as well. Guys, it's just the beginning of the year and we have a lot more tech content coming your way. So make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we publish new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs>